and here he is, guys. It's <laughs> the re- was, Hey. Hey, 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 applause, applause to you, applause, that was amazing. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're here for the noise, I am here for all of you. I'm here for the FragCom, and I'm here for everybody in the panel. How's it going, everybody? Uh, I got to tell you, I've been seeing, uh, you know, certain people try to uh, change the dynamic in the panels earlier when I was here. Didn't watch the whole thing, but I got to say, it's going to be very juicy what I'm about to drop in here, okay? I've been seeing a little bit of videos uh, this past a uh, couple days because as you know all of you know i do uh, watch you know fragrance reviews i have fragrances myself all of you do know this okay so i did have a lot of people that i've been subscribed to let me get down to the juicy stuff okay this is going to be a big shout out okay big shout out to all the fragrance reviewers in the fragcom that are staying in their lane when I say that, I say that with big quotes, big, big, big letters, you know, because at the end of the day, okay, we're going to get down to it. There's one gentleman that I saw talking about panty dropper fragrances that it shouldn't be allowed. I mean, I mean, what? Uh, I mean, come on. Do you not see this flag back here? This is the American flag. And this gentleman here is in America. So, you know, when you post some things that, oh, uh, you know, you guys shouldn't be talking about uh, panty droppers because it's, it's offensive. I mean, at the end of the day did you not see dan he was ready to drop his panties for anybody out there that was having a beautiful fragrance you know he was ready earlier i saw him with that wig it was crazy you know men wear panties some men wear panties so don't just put it on the women okay and for you uh mr trumpet man i'm not gonna say your name but you should you know if you want to come into the live stream because you've noticed us you're welcome to come whenever you want and also there's somebody else there is somebody else okay there's somebody else out there i don't even know how to say his name really that well because a lot of women here in america have the same name as him so i'll say it like that and uh i know i know cuddles cuddles is he loves the fact that this man has so many fragrances but uh, disorganized all in the back just disorganized look man i'm gonna tell you right now i've been following you for a long time and i know you're watching you're gonna watch the replay because you're too worried to be in the chat and see stuff you know going your way i'm telling you right now you made a little post on our live stream and i'm gonna say our live stream because right now when i'm when i'm in here with dan i'm part of this group you know and i really do enjoy everybody in the FragCon because i've met new people i have melissa that i met margie that i met their strawberry that i met uh you know mr clean uh chris from fragmental amazing dude uh everybody in the panel that i met you know they're all amazing but you got to remember if this is the man of the hour i'm saying dan i call him the man of the hour a lot of people have been using that word he is the man of the hour because the live stream game is hyped up now because of this man okay there are super chats coming in because of this man okay there is good drama it is not drama that we don't want to speak about it's good drama because at the end of the day I'm not here to defend other people. I'm here to be the voice of reason for the audience. Most of the audience doesn't want to say it, but I'm here to say it. Okay, so yeah, let's uh, let's clap that out of there. And wow. uh, I think I think I think he uses the words before. I might, I might not say because I usually say you know I'm here in Miami, and, and it's it's always hot here in Miami. You know, I always say that. It's always hot here in Miami. This wow. man that made a video of our live stream saying that it's kind of like uh, vulgar, uh, vulgar. I can't even say the word vulgar because I'm a, a I'm a crazy dude and uh, you know here in America we we got freedom we could say whatever we want so I don't know where you live at uh, but I do know he says uh, how's it going uh, everybody I'm here from Abbottabad he says something like that I know that for a fact and that's the only thing I could tell you and other than that a uh, hey, kudos to you I'm not gonna unfollow you but I will unfollow one of the guys and I think is the panty dropper guy because I think that oh, is yeah. total I is totally <laughs> Adeline, this man made a video a couple years ago of panty dropper fragrances. And today, in the 2022 year, okay, he is making a post about how it is bad to talk about fragrances of panty droppers. Are you kidding me? Man, I'm taking out some, I'm taking on some big heaters right now. This is perfume de Marley over here, okay? You might not even have that over there in uh, where you live at in the different country. But this over here, I'm telling you, 
ladies and gentlemen, this over here, the Pegasus, it's amazing. I feel like the creamiest man in Miami, super vanilla. It is amazing. It has a little bit of almond. I just love this, ladies and gentlemen, uh, for the men that want to want to feel uh, like a king, want to feel uh, mysterious and, uh, you know, kind of outgoing. This is going to be your fragrance. And I'm saying this uh, with complete motivation for any of you that are inspired to buy something expensive. This is this is it. And you know what? You know what? Too many of you, too many of you have been have been using this. Okay, you know what we're gonna do with this? This right I here. I I talked about this. I talked about this not long ago. You see this? This is everybody's been talking about it now. Guess what? We're gonna throw that in the goddamn garbage. I ain't using that one anymore. Okay. We're gonna stick with the good stuff. Okay. Here we go. Perfume the Marley Pegasus. Any of you watching? Do this. Throw throw the Arma. I don't even know what it's called. Throw that damn uh, clone away, the Creed clone. Get yourself a good one. And this is it. So back to the panel. Wow, that was quite an entrance. Uh, there's a lot to unpack there, as they say. I'm going I'm to try and break that down. It came Break your whistle. Stages. Okay. That was good. That was good, Reaper. Okay, first of all, the trumpet man. I assume you were talking about Justin Copeland. Oh, thanks. Thanks for reminding me. Now I'm going to unfold this, man. What was because it that been... he did that you did? What didn't you like about what he what? said? I like. He's fine with me. What, what happened? What oh, did he do? Oh.